First Alert Weather Update is brought to you by Custom Engineering Heating and Cooling. Well, good Sunday morning, mid-Michigan. As expected, the rain chances that we had during the early morning hours of your Sunday were mostly for northern parts of mid-Michigan and the tip of the thumb. That's exactly what we saw. And now as we're transitioning into the later morning hours, that is all out of here. So here's the uh, current sky tracker here just shortly after 9 uh, a.m. All of those uh, showers now actually cleared down into Pennsylvania and New York here uh, for us. We've got dry, clear conditions now working into mid-Michigan coming down from the UP and Wisconsin. Uh, you know, we also like to look, you know, a little further out on the uh, sky tracker to perhaps what might be coming our way over the next couple of days. So you uh, take a hike here off to the north and west. There's nothing out there. Still clear, still sunny, still dry out there. So that means our next couple of days more than likely looking a lot like that. And that certainly is going to be the case for sunshine, dry conditions, and relatively warm uh, continuing through your Sunday, through your Monday, and likely through most of your Tuesday. So here's the hour by hour. Uh, no real concerns for us today. The only thing we really have to talk about the fact that we have wind still coming down off of Lake Huron in the Saginaw Bay, keeping our lakeshore communities and the thumb on the cooler side. Uh, by cooler, I still mean the 60s and a few upper 50s. But once you get away from that lakeshore, it's when we really warm up. We're talking the lower to middle 70s as we go into this afternoon. So very summer like out there for us. Clear skies uh, as we go into the overnight hours. We do work into very brief cloud cover, not a lot and not for very long. As we go into the most of your Monday, we'll be back into the sunshine. It is still clear. It is still dry winds really going to be calming down for us into your Monday as well. Now going into Tuesday, this is where things change a little bit. We start out in the morning, more of that sunshine, still clear, still dry, uh, nothing to really worry about there. Through the first half of your Tuesday, that'll be the case. Second half of Tuesday, we're starting to bring in more clouds. This is finally our next storm system moving into the Great Lakes. It's not going to be until we go into Tuesday evening that we actually see any impactful weather here in mid-Michigan. So it's going to be a really nice break here, uh, a nice chunk of quiet weather. As we go into Tuesday evening, those clouds moving back in and and it's not until not until we get after dark on your Tuesday. So really even lingering into Wednesday morning that we start to see those showers move through. So there's a couple of rounds here. Here comes round number one. It tries to weaken as it makes its way to us as we go into your uh, really too late Tuesday night going into early Wednesday morning. Another round later Wednesday morning. This one be a little bit heavier. And then another one as we go into Wednesday afternoon and evening. This will likely be the heaviest one that we'll see. Some torrential downpours, perhaps some uh, thunder and lightning mixed in there as well. Right now, I don't think we're quite warm enough to see uh, enough fuel build up for the, the, the storms to become severe, but we certainly still have the chance for some of those heavier thunderstorms. And again, that's for Wednesday. As we go into Thursday and Friday, we're seeing that storm system pull out of the Great Lakes. Temperatures cooling down into the 50s there. A few waning rain chances by Friday morning going into the weekend, more than likely in the drier side, but also on the cooler side of things there in the lower 50s. But the following week, we do look to rebound back into the 60s. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.